Hello everybody. I am uh, using a voiceover. This was just a kind of a quick video. This was prior to the art festival that I had a few weeks ago. And what you see me doing is I have these little four inch mini canvases and instead of brushing on the polyurethane, the varnish, I decided to just use a cheap sponge and I got it very slightly damp just slightly and then in the Liquitex bottle which was empty I emptied my 32 ounce can of Minwax polycrylic into the Liquitex bottle and then wrote Minwax on the bottle so what you see me pouring out of the bottle is actually Minwax polycrylic that comes in a quart in the gloss and instead of brushing it on, I am just basically buffing it on to the canvas and around the sides just to give it a slight sheen and that also pops that color back out instead of it being matte looking. The gloss gives it a little bit more depth with uh, the color. So that's what I'm doing. And so this is one quick way to do uh, kind of a mass production of varnishing. And um, again, these are just four inch canvases. And I'm also going to do some 12 inch canvases this way as well. Some, some acrylic pours I don't really desire to have a shiny, slick gloss, gloss effect on every one of them. But you can use a satin finish or a gloss finish or whatever and use this technique to just simply put down a layer of varnish to bring that color back out. And then it's going to have the, uh, the texture of the canvas by doing this method. So I just want to make that clear that you will see the texture of the canvas. It's not going to be um, like a perfectly smooth finish doing it this way. But it certainly serves the purpose of sealing your paint and giving it that uh, pop of color again. It's just a quick way to do this. And I just keep that sponge saturated and continue to add a little bit of uh, a squirt of varnish every so often. And then I, I can do multiple canvases with that bit that is on the sponge. So here I'm doing the same thing, but just on a larger scale on 12 inch square canvases. Just buffing it on. And as you can see, it's pretty glossy and um, it will take on the texture of the canvas and the paint. It will not be a perfectly smooth finish, but it most certainly makes the color come back out. And so that's what I did on several of my 12 inch canvases in order to quickly just get a coat of varnish on before the festival.
So this is, um, this was at least 18 to 20 inches square canvas, maybe even 24, I can't remember exactly. Um, so I'm doing the same thing with that, but I see that because it is larger, and because it's Minwax, if it were Liquitex high gloss varnish, I think I could have achieved what I wanted to do with that, but Minwax is just a touch thicker and it seems to tack up. And that was this was the end of my bottle that I had of the Minwax. So then I thought, well, I'll just try and rub it around with my gloved hand. And I did not like the effect that that had because it wasn't thick enough and I couldn't move it around enough. So here I'm trying to squeeze out every last drop of the bottle because that's all that is of my men wax that I have left. And I didn't want to switch varnishes in the middle of it being wet. So I then decided to get my sponge brush and uh, go over what I had just done with my hand. So I'm just very lightly going in one direction over the whole surface. So that in a nutshell is what I did uh, right before a festival. It was literally the day before and um, I want to show to you that like literally during the process of this film of maybe 30 minutes to an hour that of tops, these canvases were already dry, the small ones. That's how quickly they dried by just putting that light coat of the gloss varnish on there. And so um, even the 12 inch ones uh, were pretty much almost dry. It just It's just a really quick way to do it. I'm, I'm obviously touching it, so it's already dry to the touch within 30 minutes. Now the large one that I had just done with the sponge brush, it had some brush strokes on it, and so I definitely planned on doing another coat or so just over it with Liquitex High Gloss Varnish, which is my varnish of choice. But this is just a great way to take a cheap sponge and you know, saturate it with your varnish and just kind of quickly go through a lot of canvases if you need to do something kind of quickly for a festival. So that's what I did, and um, it was just one way of getting a lot of canvases varnished that I had not had a chance to do earlier in the week. And this was after painting the uh, the butterfly on the swipe on the glass, and I did uh, the yellow flowers on a swipe on glass, and a kingfisher bird on a acrylic dirty pour or swipe on glass. And so I also, you know, put a coat of clear coat over them and I'm showing you there that's another piece of glass that I would put into a frame so I hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching